Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Anna, keeping you updated with some changes in the forecast. And if you have not seen uh, the numbers that we have been running for the last couple of days, I'm going to bring you an update on those coming up here in just a little bit, especially into next week. It appears that we have not just one storm system heading our way that is going to be of any significance, but possibly two systems coming on through, one at the beginning of the week, the other one at the end of the week. We'll talk about those potentials coming up here in just a little bit. Again, as always, the forecast will possibly change over the next several days, so the best thing you can do is keep it tuned to the weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on what's going on. Drop your location, uh, city, state, and whatever weather reports you've got out there. Put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use and let us know what it's like in your neck of the woods, and we'll try to read off as many reports as we possibly can on there. If you've never been here before, you don't have to stick around for the whole thing if you don't want to. The forecast for the Mid-South would be blue bar scrolling along beneath you right down here. And more of our forecast available at this website, including the 7 to 10 day forecast that's available at wreg.com slash weather. All right, getting going with a quick check of the forecast again through the rest of the day. Mid to upper 30s, that's it and that's all where it comes to anything involving warmer temperatures. So some pretty chilly conditions out there through the day. Some of you south of I-40 might pick up temperatures into and around the lower 40s, but not much more than that. So chilly for the kids on the way to school this morning and brisk on the way home, but at least it's going to be dry. So definitely some good news on that. Now later tonight, late tonight, that's where we see the potential of some more areas of some precipitation out there. Nice amount of sunshine out there for today, but also again, dry, a few clouds across portions of the area. And temperatures, again, briefly back in the mid to upper 30s for the metro, dropping into the lower to mid 30s. We're not going to drop too far on the temperatures tonight because the winds will be turning around from the southwest, and that will help to kind of bump the temperatures up just a little bit, but it is still going to be a very chilly evening coming up in the mid-south, especially with that moisture around Tomorrow morning, we could be seeing, again, some slick spots out there. Depending on how cold it gets, we'll run that down coming up here in just a little bit. A little bit of sunshine from the Grove on the campus of Ole Miss for this morning. Marie Vaughn, 25 in Munford. Thank you very much. Uh, for that report, Heather Baird-Smith, cold and sunny from Brownsville, Tennessee. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from there. Beautiful morning in Batesville. Vera Davis, hope I'm saying that correctly. Bifocals playing up this morning, sorry about that. And welcoming everybody else for checking in uh, for this morning out there. A little bit of sunshine as the students make their way back to class on the Ole Miss campus. Rhodes College from the Weather Underground System. Sunlight striking the eastern side of the buildings. And some blue skies looking back to the northwest from central Memphis. Downtown Memphis, again, a few clouds drifting on through for this morning, but otherwise a quiet Mississippi River out there and not seeing any visibility problems. Heavy traffic. Traffic at the peak of rush hour, and we'll be monitoring this. Corey Ventura will have more on time saver traffic coming up throughout the course of the rest of the next hour or so. Jarrett Box, sunny in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Angela Gray Hale, your son on the Ole Miss campus. Hope he's getting some sunshine there. A little chilly there this morning. Thank you very much for that one. And welcome to everybody else again who's tune, uh, tuning in for this morning. Glad to have you along for out there for right now. Storm Tracker 3S radar dry across the metro area. Not much of anything else being seen across the rest of the Mid-South. Clean sweeps for right now. Our next storm system is on the way. It's going to be diving in from the north. It's already over the Great Plains states, and it's going to be heading in from around the Dakotas, dropping through the Mid-South, a fairly quickly moving system, almost an Alberta clipper. And as this moves on through, we may see the potential of some snow flurries. We're already getting some snow flurries back up around Rapid City, South Dakota. Now, because this storm system is, number one, very quick, and number two, landlocked. There's not much moisture being drawn into this system. So as it passes around the Mid-South area later on, that's where we get our chances of flurries coming our direction. But next couple of storm systems coming on through Monday and by next Friday, if that holds together, we'll be coming from way up north and that'll be dropping our direction with a powerful punch of cold air. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Temperatures just past the 8 o'clock hour on WeatherNet 3. Warmest number in the Mid-South at U of M Earth Sciences. So we're getting some fairly chilly numbers out there for this morning. Mid to upper 20s elsewhere. Winds are picking back up again, so we have some wind chills in the lower 20s, even the teens. So let's make certain everybody's bundled up out there. And 
please make certain to scrape the entire windshield clean before you start driving that whole periscope driving thing, just enough for you to see out. Not safe. Don't do it, please. Just let's make certain we all stay safe out there for this morning. Lori Hubanks, hope I'm saying that right. Reagan, Tennessee, 25 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from there and for the weather report from there as well. Stacy Morris, cold and sunny in Red Banks. Nice to see the sun. Uh, very true about that. Ben Harden from Misawa Air Base in Japan. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Welcome from the other side of the planet. Welcome to uh, being around for our weathercast for this morning. And uh, in the military, I'm assuming. So, again, thank you very much for wearing the uniform and serving your country over there. Thank you very much for that one. Cold in South Haven, Cheryl Smith Pierce. Welcome to the show, and thanks for joining us out there for right now. Rest of the day, moving lines on screen showing the winds coming in from out of the north. So those winds will be a little chilly, and that's going to help to keep the temperatures down for the rest of the day. So by lunchtime, just above freezing, and that's going to be about it from what we see for today in the way of very warm temperatures. We might gain another degree or two as we go into this afternoon. Upper 30s, lower 40s, but not much more than that. And sunny skies across the area for the most part. Now getting into this afternoon, clouds, the gray colors right here, start to move in first. And then a little bit of moisture with that very fast moving system drops on through the area. Should be arriving in the Mid-South about Dinner time and afterwards, News Channel 3 at 10 going right through the Mid-South and lingering precipitation spotty across the area from midnight into very early tomorrow morning. We're not looking at a lot. This is not going to be a huge system, so we're not picking up anything in the way of actual accumulation down toward the surface. Now, next week, that could be a different story. So, again, hang on for more information about that one for right now. Chilly out there for right now. Kelly Terry Mallard. Very good advice. Make certain your animals outdoors are protected. They need to have adequate shelter. Failure to do so could be a misdemeanor crime, so please keep that in mind. And if you see any animals out there that don't have adequate shelter, tell your local law enforcement about it. Uh, Shelby County Sheriff's Department works with the Memphis and Shelby County Humane Society for investigation. So keep that in mind if you need to document and report uh, anything for right now. Stanley Calloway, if Austin says it, you'll be okay. Well, that's very nice of you. Thank you very much uh, for that nice little uh, compliment. Patsy Slaughter Cooper, 24 in Oxford. Thank you very much for that. And 24 in Munford, Tennessee, Chris Gordon. Thank you very much for joining us there. All right. Chance of rain late on Saturday night, early Sunday morning, just rainfall. I'm going to be seeing another possible problem coming up next week. The stronger of two possible storm systems coming on through. So this upcoming Monday, chance of rainfall, and again, that little pink stripe area right there, that's where we start to see the potential of rain mixed with or changing over to some form of frozen precipitation. At this time, more than likely snowfall. And then about midnight and afterwards, it changes over from rain to all snow. And by the time we hit News Channel 3 daybreak, we're going to be on the back side of this as this system heads on out. Now, this one on Monday, two good things about this. Like our system coming up tonight, it's going to be fast moving. It's not going to stick around for long. And number two, it's going to have very limited amounts of moisture. It should have some, but I really doubt it's going to be snow shovel material for this one. So it doesn't look too bad, again, for right now. This is still several days in advance, and if you've never tried winter weather forecasting, I would highly recommend it as a good study in humility. So something to try out there, and if you want to post your forecast uh, information out there that you could give it a try, please go ahead and do so, and we'll remind everybody of that coming up next week when we talk about the storm system coming on through the area. Lizzie Tucker from Houston, Texas, 38 degrees. Thank you very much for checking in from the Lone Star State for this morning. Rest of the day today, mid to upper 30s, uh, that's it and that's all. We're just not seeing too much in the way of warm conditions out there. Flurries by later on tonight. And again, into very early tomorrow morning. We'll start off pretty well. We'll get rid of some of the cloud cover, dry air chasing that system in. We'll see some more clouds as we go into Saturday night. Temperatures tomorrow about a category warmer. And as we go towards Sunday, temperatures back in the lower 50s. That's about normal for this time of the year. So a decent amount of sunlight on Sunday after some early morning showers. And again, doesn't look like a major concern out there. 
but we'll be watching to see if there's any slick conditions out there that get reported. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend, especially on Daybreak. I'll have more information about what's going on there. All right, big change coming through on Monday. Very mild, great day, nice temperatures out there for Monday, but then cold air from that system slams into the area. The first storm system comes through and gives us again the possibility of rain mixed with changing over to snow. Second cold front, the cold air blast behind that moves on through right afterwards, and we're going to go from the 50s on Monday to the lower 30s on Tuesday. So a big push of cold air is on the way to the Mid-South and going to be seeing again some very chilly conditions out there. Now this cold air will be sticking around for the rest of the foreseeable future right on in through the end of January. So not expecting too much in the way of warmer conditions out there. Kids on their way to school are going to need to bundle up early in the morning. Temperatures in the teens and lower 20s throughout the rest of the last week of January. And then as we go toward next Friday, and again, several days out, so a lot can change here, but there are signs that we could be looking at another storm system coming through that could be giving us some further winter weather and some colder temperatures. Next Friday, high temperatures may not even reach the lower 30s or even above freezing, so we could be seeing some very cold numbers out there in the end of the week and right into around February. Yes, it's that time of year again for the furry faux forecaster to poke his head out of the ground and give us a not forecast. So for right now, Groundhog Day, as it's affectionately called, not by me, back in the mid-30s, and then hopefully warming up afterwards into the mid-40s as we leave January and head into February. And again, all that can change, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on that. My forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And, of course, Jim Jaggers will have an update on your Into the Weekend forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, so want to stay tuned for more on that. Catch me on social media. If you've got weather pictures out there, we'd love to see them. We're processing a whole bunch right now. I'm going to be showing those on social media later on, so follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and a lot of other places out there as well. We'd love to have your weather pictures out there so we can show them on our internet netcast and also on News Channel 3 Daybreak as well, so please let us know where you are the city, state, location you took the picture, and what you were looking at at the time. And if you don't want to be identified, you can be safely anonymous as well. So that's also very cool. And we'll have more on that coming up throughout the rest of the day and also this weekend as well. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, for very early on Friday morning. Stay tuned for another update, the late edition, coming up this morning at about 10.30, give or take, after we get done recording updates that will air throughout the weekend here in the studio. I'll have an update on your forecast again with the new model numbers coming up and we'll take a look at whether where the troops are. So if you have friends or loved ones serving around the world in the United States military, we'll take a look at some conditions around the world. Can't feature everybody, but we'll do our best to get as much information as we possibly can out there to you. And again, a big thank you to everybody who's serving in the American military out there overseas and away from home. Glad to have you along out there. Stay tuned for more from News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning on air and online. And please keep it tuned to our website and, of course, on air throughout the rest of the weekend. And I'll have more on your forecast coming up a little later. Live and direct from downtown, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you for joining us on Friday morning. And stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Friday and right into the weekend.